I was I was pretty nervous, but uh, you know, I, before the game, I, I just prayed and the Lord just allowed everything to t- take all the nerves away, and uh, I was, you know, somehow I don't I just follow whatever his, he put down, so I give credit to him. <laughs> when you retire the first three guys that you face, how much does that help you in your confidence as you move forward in the game? Unbelievable amount. Uh, I was telling I was telling uh, B Rob, I said, you know, hey. The game kind of—it's just a little kids' game again. And uh, and after after I got a couple of innings under my belt, it was I was able to uh, just remember that I'm just playing playing a game that I've been playing for since I was five years old. Major league debut, first hit as well. What was that moment like for you? That was awesome. I mean, I, I hit I hit a little bit in college, and uh, and I was bragging about my hitting before the game. And uh, fortunately, I got a I got a good pitch to hit and went the other way. But then I gave one right back to that guy. So <laughs> both of us are. Both of us are doing pretty good in that department. You had really good control through four. Then in that fifth inning, walked two guys. Did you feel a little fatigued, or, or what do you think was the cause of loss of control a little bit there in that fifth? Yeah, I think so. I think I got a little uh, adrenaline wore off a little bit, and uh, uh, and again, I mean, I just uh, threw some pitches that weren't, you know, weren't close. But uh, I, uh, that's something I got to build on for for next time for sure. The fact that uh, the Mets had a guy making his debut, did that have any effect on you at all? Kind of take some nerves off. No, no. I mean, it was uh, again. It was just uh, it was me versus the hitter, and uh, that's how I kind of looked at it. Is uh, you know, it's, I mean, it's my job is to pitch against all right, the guy I'm facing in the box, not the guy I'm facing on the other team. So, you have family here. Yes, my my wife, my my parents, her parents, uh, a bunch of my a bunch of my friends from back home, Ramblin', Alabama. I mean, that's just. You know, I think it was. I left 16 tickets, and I think there was probably 10 or 15 more that came. So, unbelievable amount, unbelievable amount of support back home. This is the way you imagined it. Yes, unbelievable, unbelievable. What were the last 24 hours like leading up to this? You found out the news. You obviously scratched a couple of days ago. This could be the case, but to actually find out the news, come to New York, wait to get the opportunity. It's it's been a it's just I mean, it's that chance of you know lot, chance of a lifetime to do it and. Uh, and the, but the past couple of days have been <laughs> unbelievable. I mean, just being in the city, I mean, I, I hadn't been in the city downtown ever, I mean, other than when I was playing Staten Island, but never to be downtown. And then to to be, you know, to be in Scranton and then all of a sudden be here is unbelievable. What's it like to be, a, you know, make your MLB debut in this rivalry, Jeter's last Subway Series game, all the, you know, hoopla around it. What's it like for you just to kind of... It's just just unbelievable blessing. I mean, you know, to to, be, to to see to play with the guys that you know that's been around for done so much in this game. It's just just unbelievable, and uh, to be a part of it, it's just just a blessing. That's all I mean. Really did, all I can say. did anyone tell you anything before the game that, that stood out, either advice or a joke or, or whatever? Yeah, I mean, there was you know, Dell and Murph, you know, uh, Warren and Phelps and Daly. I mean, I've known those guys for a while, and uh, they each said something different. That made that click with me, and uh, you know, for the most part, it was yeah, take it all in, but remember you're here to compete. So that meant a lot. The fact that there were so many familiar faces from Scranton did that do anything for you? Definitely, definitely. And then considering that um, you know, spring training helped too, because at least new new faces or whatnot, and uh, and then to have guys that I've actually you know played with for the past couple of years, you know that. Familiarity helps out a lot. When the fifth inning was over and you're back on the bench, what, what went through your mind? Just relief, <laughs> you know, to, to to have it, you know, put on that one away and then look forward to, uh, you know, to the next one, you know, whenever that might be, and uh, just, uh, you know, just to say that, you know, it's it was a good day, you know, that's, that's really all I can say. Are you trying to convince Joe to keep you out there? In the just to get another bat, right? <laughs> <laughs>